Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This is Charan. In this video, I will show you how to bind arrays into a drop down select option element using jQuery. I'm reloading the browser. See, here we got the arrays are binded to the select option drop down control using jQuery. That's it. If you are a first time visitor to my channel, please subscribe to get the latest updates. I'm using Notepad++ for this video tutorial. Right now in this Notepad++ contains a simple HTML code with some header tags h1 and h2 horizontal line. Before binding the arrays into a select option element, first we'll check the output on the browser how it looks. And this is the output of that code right now contains only head attacks so let's add the select option element after the horizontal line i'm adding the select tag i'm closing the select tag i'm adding the id for the select select id after that in the header section when we are using jQuery, the first thing, the most important, we need the latest jQuery CDN link. So let's grab that one. Search for latest Google CDN jQuery. And from the search results, I'm selecting the hosted libraries. In the Google hosted libraries, at the corner there is a contents panel which contains jQuery select that one you can find different versions of snippets I'm selecting 3.3.1 copy that one and add in our header section let's add the script close the script now inside the script now inside the script I'm creating a variable to create the arrays so car list is equals to new array method bmw comma ford bench Holden. After creating the arrays, next let's bind these arrays into this select option dollar document dot ready function To count the arrays, I'm adding for loop i is equal to 0, i is less than the car list variable, the array variable dot length i plus plus dollar. Let's bind these arrays into this select ID copy this one single quotes hash to add the items into the select option I'm using append method between single quotes option plus plus let's close the option tag now in this plus plus I'm adding this car list variable array i that's it let's save this file we'll check the final output on the browser I'm reloading the browser see here we got the arrays are binded to the select option drop down control using jQuery that's it.